Welcome back to Heaven's Vault. I'm Dear Darling, and should we continue unearthing the mystery of the ancients? Ooh. And I've got to say, thank you. Okay, well, <laughs> I accidentally clicked away off it, but still. Um, I was going to say, thank you very much, Heaven's Vault, for having a summary. Basically, last time, um, what did we do? Uh, we're trying to discover the mystery of a Remba, a missing assistant. Um, we think he died, but something doesn't quite add up, and we got some weird things pointing to, like, an observatory. And last time, we went to what seemed to be a graveyard in the middle of nowhere? Which was a map pointed to by an emperor, I believe, while he hid out on some other random moon, basically. So we got a lot of mysteries going on. Um, I'm not exactly sure where we want to go exactly. Let me think. We could go to the Withering Palace. That's true. This is Remba's dig site in, in general. We don't have any other leads, I think, in here. So like Remba's cache. We got Renaki. That was another one, but Renaki's quite far away. I think we want to go to the Withering Palace, in my opinion. Because that was something which was mentioned, I believe, before. So, well, let six take take us to... Let's see. Can he take us there? No, he can't take us there. So we have to sail there ourselves. Because I'm pretty sure if we, if we get him to take us to Iox, then we actually have to walk along the ground on Iox, which is, you know, a bit of a nuisance. Because we have nothing really to report back again. We've shown all the artifacts to... um. What's his name? <laughs> I always forget his name. The librarian in Iox. And we don't need to talk to Mayari right now, so. So a few, there's a few places we can go. Why would we go back to Iox? Iox is behind the university, as I always... Oh, to Huang. Show some of the recent findings. He might know something about the Withering Palace that Figurin has taught me about. What, what can we do in Albareth? Mm the... Okay, that's two things we could go. Renaki? He knows about an ancient observatory. I think we'll go to Renaki, actually. I know it's quite far away, but um, I think that maybe that's our next best lead, rather than just blindly sailing into the Wuthering Palace. And hopefully by going here, we can get Six to sail us here when we need to, rather than us doing it ourselves. So sailing to Renaki in Renaki Reach via the Lower Reach on Ioxian Space. What this game really needs is a better sat nav, and apparently it's just started me off immediately <laughs> into a wrong turn. Excuse me, please turn. Okay, there we go. So we'll slowly navigate our way to Renaki. This game could really deal with the sat nav. Like, you know, a live arrow pointing where to where we need to go. Our route goes right momentarily, mistress. It's been a little bit of time since I played um, Heaven's Vault. I don't record too many episodes that often of this, to be honest. I mean, if I only upload three a week, I don't need to spend that much time playing it, which is basically why. My microphone's in the way of a bottom. <laughs> Waffle rivers aren't natural at all. What if they weren't created by storms, magnetic fields, or anything like that? Which way do we want to go? Left and right's the same, let's go right. What else could they be? Just... I don't know. <laughs> he, he took words right out of my mouth, Adia. Something whole. I'm going to try and not move uh, um, the camera too much, because I think it's very dis disorientating. <laughs> Maybe like motion sickness inducing. Otherwise. Come on, go faster. We need a turbo mode. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said, Six. Imagine a ship dragging flows behind it. Behind it, the way a plow drags out a furrow. <laughs> Couldn't read that. A tapestry of cloud and smoke. Another thing this game needs is colour-coded boxes, probably. <laughs> Text boxes. The world springs drive a flow, mistress. Don't tell me you believe a world springs are natural. I mean, they are called wellsprings. They exist in nature, mistress. <laughs> I was going to say mustress. That's not a word. I'm just inventing words here. Oh my god, what is this camera angle? This is disorientating. Please go faster. Some Someday I'll, I'll look up how you're meant to go faster in this game. I think this is just a boost. By the lower reach. That's, you know, good. Because I think that's where it said we wanted to go. Presumably we're going this way. 
Unless we're doing a very sharp U-turn. Have we been here before? The Ridge is famous for smashing boats to splinters. The Renakus are said to make their boats from solid iron. Renaka, not Renaki, apparently. Do you like other robot six? I have not spent much time with them. Ioxian space. But you have met some. Sharp left turn, I think. Yep, sharp left turn. As we sail around Iox. A few. They've always struck me as rather predictable. I suppose robots kind of are in some sense. Not in all senses. Especially with like AI learning robots and how they teach and stuff. I don't know, there's a good CGP Grey video on it. I'm not, not going to be a great explainer. Steer right up ahead, mistress. Thank you, six. I can't even see the path, though. There we go. Pass control to six. But I do not have friendships with other robots, if that's what you mean. I pass my controls to six. Would you like some friends? We're your friends, six. I mean, uh, Alia doesn't think so, but I think so. We could set up a play date. I'm quite content, mistress. No, don't say that, Six. Can we pass controls to Six? You can sail for a while, Six. Thank you, mistress. You can sail all the time if you want to do. The Verdant Pass. Ah, this is where we went to Maiersi. Oh man, it's quite a long way, isn't it? <laughs> We've reached uncharted waters, mistress. Ah, okay. So he look. He will sail in waters we. Well, winds, I suppose we sailed in before. I think. I think that's what it's meant to mean. That honestly looks like a bit of a noxious cloud. I forgot how green it was here. I think it sounded like this is like my childhood home or something. Oh, back in those summer days. Gone by. Where have they gone now? I wish I could go back to them. I don't know what this monologue is. I don't know what I'm doing. Either of the routes ahead. Let's go left. It seems shorter. Very calming music, way. I'm not going to lie. Soundtrack in a game is really important to me, I think. I think it helps set the atmosphere. Ooh, a remark. We'll find you some robots on Iox. The Silk Pass. Mistress, it is not like you fraternise with other humans. Uh, fair, fair. Come on. We're very similar, perhaps. Mayhaps. Mistress, I do not wish to discuss this further. Ooh, touchy subject. I'm sorry, Six. As you like. Let's respect his wishes, you know? That's what friends do. Respect boundaries. I appreciate your understanding, mistress. Thank you. Why Why in italics? Are you being sarcastic? It's really hard to tell through text if you're being sarcastic, especially when you're a robot. I'm going to play the innocence card and be like, nah, he's being genuine. Oh my word. <laughs> this, this camera angle. Wow, it's really orange here. <laughs> Where are we? Still right way? Good. Really? That seems like a missed opportunity to map these rooms. If they did, they aren't telling. Are we mapping them right now as we're going? That seems like you can make a lots of money doing that, to be honest. Releasing a first map. We will need to turn right momentarily, mistress. Thank you, Six. I was seeing there's something over here we missed. I suppose that's like a spot. An unexplored ruin. There's another one right there. Let's get some more d words up in here. It is a shipwreck from the earliest days of a nebula, mistress. I will investigate, mistress. I found a hefty book that was really fast. It mostly came from somewhere close by. And there's some writing. Alright, back to back to the good old decoding the language. 
There's a few words in this one. I can see gods. That's probably not gods. That's probably empire. Gods will. Empire, gods will. My translation empire has to be wrong. What? Let's try something. How is this wrong? Hmm. Could be temple then. Maybe perhaps this is like building. And we definitely know it's to do holy things. Okay. Temple gods will something. Of. So it's similar to follow. Towards probably. Towards temple gods. Wait, is this. A it's not a cut off fragment of a phrase, so this should be a standalone phrase, right? Hmm. So it's similar to sail. It's actually got this squiggly line. I wish we could figure out what the squiggly line means. Perhaps it means like path. So it means like an opening. So I think we think we've established this thing like turns whatever this middle abstract concept is into a noun. So perhaps this means like direction. So of direction could mean towards. Certainly makes more sense than any of these other words, which I think are very peculiar. Peculiar. So towards temple gods will. <laughs> what? Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe there's not actually anything to do with these um, symbols. It's only to do with similar words. Go? Towards temple gods will go. Okay. That will do for now. A holy book. I kind of want to see what our where temple comes up before. I wonder exactly what gods they had. Can can we look at translations now? Inscriptions. Solvable inscriptions. Let's see where temple comes up. I I, I sort of recognise what it looks like. Is that it? Sorry, my scroll wheel is so loud. What am I doing? Bring me back to my inscriptions. Let's see where... No, it's not that one. It's not that one. We're looking for this triangle symbol with a holy symbol next to it. Emperor symbol next to it. I'm surprised it's not empire. I really am. But I guess it doesn't make... Empire gods doesn't really make sense. Is there a way to search by, like, inscription? Like, search by words? That would be very useful. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. Ah, where, where, where else has this come up before? It's not that one. It's this one. No, this is Pilgrims. Ah! <laughs> this is a bit of a nuisance to navigate through, or maybe I just need to find a better way. Okay, I missed it. Um, Finds. Right, to be honest, I'm, I, I definitely don't remember where we found it. I just know we have found it. All inscriptions. Solvable, unsolved, I guess. This is just all of them again. <laughs> oh, my word. You know, we'll, we'll do this some other time. This is a bit difficult to navigate. I mean, it's already been half an episode. I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> Turn up the sound a bit. Why is that voice sound so quiet? Hold on, can we turn your speech volume up a little bit? There we go. This is a rough rapid. We're in a rapid! Let's hope that was the way we wanted to go. It does appear to be, so I'm not so worried. 
It's like a roller coaster ride. We're not for it yet. Look at us go. We just rocketed. That's like a highway. Renaki Reach. Or Renaka, sorry, Reach. Got to remember the I sounds at the end of like a R sound. Like Raka. We're basically here, right? Almost. Is that it? Let's hop her down, Six. Avoid some notice. So we'll hop, hop, hop down. See what's going on with Renaka as we try and find uh, someone talking about the astronomer. Astro what? No, uh, uh, observatory, sorry, not astronomer. We came to Renaka like thieves. Pardon? Hoppering ourselves into a narrow alley between high blank walls. Sounds busy out there. I would estimate the local population to be around 12,000. The odds of finding one man here are therefore pathetic. Let's hope he's important then. The more important he is, the less likely he is to be roaming the streets, mistress, this way. Alright. You gotta have some faith. Huang must have loved this place. I suppose that's why he came here. Alright. <laughs> okay, sure. For the last time, is this wise, mistress? We are far from Iox. We are likely to attract considerable attention. Try not to be too weird, then. I am a robot, mistress. I do not get to choose how I deport myself. Or where I go. <laughs> You'll be fine, Six. Just blend in. Be casual. Act natural. Hopefully no one will realise we never we went into this alley. Into a bustling street. Is teleportation not a common Bullpen apparatus, I suppose? Each other down about their wares. What do you know about this moon? I have heard mention of it in passing, mistress. Evidently is a moon of or orchards and fruit. Does Renekka supply Ajax? Amongst other places, yes. But not in the way Myersi does. Renekka is rich enough not to lie within her protectorate. Does that mean Amadu is wealthy? The main export is food. I suspect he is not a farmer. Any signs of ruins on this moon? No, mistress. This moon appears to be well inhabited. Nothing here is old. Good faith to you, fine lady. Would the lady care for a flat mango, perhaps? A flat mango? Where do you get your fruit from? Probably that orchard right there. It seems very fresh. It is fresh indeed. I grew it myself. Carnival grapes, fizzy. What? Just today? What are those? What are those? Ah, oh, the lady is from Iox. Something less exotic then. Perhaps I can interest you in a kumquat first. I'm just browsing. As you wish. What sort of place is this? It seems rich for a moon, mistress. I don't recognise half of these roots. Do you grow them locally? I grow them in my tubs on my roof. Roofs. I am blessed with several roofs. Interesting. Maybe I should retire somewhere like this. It seems comfortable. Can we not talk to you anymore? Maybe I should have asked if you knew someone called Amadu. Just staring at us. What's this? Lamps? Oh, lanterns. I wonder if a glass is blown locally. More remarks. Look at the people, Six. Are they avoiding anything? Treating anywhere with particular caution? I detect no unusual patterns of movement. Perhaps there's an open space in that direction. People are slowing down as they leave the street. That's a cunning observation. What am I trying to observe over here? I don't know. There was a, there was a spot there, though. Oh, it's this. Silk? Rugs. The pattern similar to the one on the nightingale. Mayari gave me that one. Alright, let's um 
keep going, I suppose. This place doesn't seem wealthy compared to Iox. Iox is staggeringly wealthy, mistress. Iox is wealthy enough not to trade. I was just seeing if I can walk into people's homes, apparently uninvited. Hey, wait, we can actually buy an apple? Let's buy an apple. Maybe we buy an apple and we'll be like, hey, who's Amaru? He'll be like, oh, Amaru, I know him. I'd like an apple. Of course. I prefer jewellery and gold. You trade jewellery for fruit? Jewellery is very good for trading, good lady. So is fruit. And I'll pass on for fruit. <laughs> a pity. I really must get myself another customer. I don't even remember all the eagle wing brooches. That's a thing we got that started everything off, right? I don't think we should just give that away. That seems like a fool's errand. There's a few more people through here. The market of Renaka seemed to never end. Shoemakers Whoa. sold fruits to the fruit sellers, who sold sour apples to the knife makers. Whose blades the shoemakers used to make boots. He wants a sour apple. I don't know if anyone on Renaka ever slept, but if they did. I bet they bought and sold their dreams. <laughs> what? What an odd thing to say. Alright, um. Well, let's remark, I suppose. This place is so. happy. I can't imagine our breath being like this. Wealth. And distance from Iox. Pottery. They can't sell any of these, surely. Unless they break them after every meal. Do it like Norse style, I believe. Vikings or something? Faces. I prefer them to pots anyway. I could keep my paintbrushes in them if I painted the or flowers. Messing about in the middle of the square, spitting at passers by. Yeah, what are you doing, Fountain? Stop messing about. I wonder what people here use them for. They're for oil and water, for bathing. How could you not know that? Use what for? Yes. My name is Alia. Can I help you? Alright. I was reading. Then why did you interrupt and start a conversation with us? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> What's your problem? It's like, oh hey, I called I know I called you out, so uh why are you talking to me? It's like what? I love books too. Do you? I barely have any. You're surrounded by books, aren't you? Well, I suppose so. But they're all the same book. I have a friend who loves reading. He was here on Renaka quite recently. I see. Where are you from, anyway? I'm from Elbereth. Oh. Elbereth isn't very nice, I'm told. Unlucky places never are. No, I suppose not. I work on Iox for a library's air. Iox? I've always wanted to visit a real library. Iox has three. Thousands of books. Some are old, so old no one can read them. I feel like we're making a real strong bond here. You're teasing me. Maybe a little. Let's keep up a playful attitude, you know. But I'd love to see it. Can we take you there? Only, I couldn't ever sail. My soul is pure and I'll keep it that way. How can you see the nebula if you don't sail? What does this even mean? Do you really think like that? You don't find you lose anything out there? Like what? I don't go blind. I don't start talking in loops. The priests of a great loop are very clear about it. The rivers strip your soul. It's what they're made of after all. They're clear on that, are they? That might have been a bit patronising now, I realise. And how do you think they get from moon to moon? Excuse me? I don't get much time. My father will have me back at the account soon enough. 
His name is Amadu. He's a trader. Oh, we need him. That's his stall on the roof over there. Alright, this is very direct. You could buy yourself another server, perhaps. That's a big stall. I can't even see it, to be honest. Yes, it is. Good faith to you. Okay. We almost made a friend. Almost. Shoes. Where's the shopkeeper? I could see the pair and run off into them. Run off in them. <laughs> Perhaps they are so badly made they would trip you up. <laughs> That's fair. Hey, we didn't talk about the bread. Bread. It smells good. Must be fresh. I cannot imagine how it smells. It is made from mouldering flowers, is that correct? Well, I mean... I don't think so, no. It's not quite how it works. More like ground up wheat or something. Why can we click on all these people, but they keep running away from us? Alright. I can smell fried meat, spiced apple, fresh leather. Well. Let's talk about this fountain. Can you imagine a fountain like this on Elbereth? Just spilling water into the street? Where does the water come from? How do we get upwards there into that store then? Is there a wellspring right here? No, mistress. I believe the water is pumped up and cycled. It's all a big cycle. A show of wealth, then. <laughs> oh, this is camera angle. There we go. Oh. Do you think anyone would stop me filling a bottle? I doubt the water is drinkable. They seem to sell everything here. Look in here. These are lizards, aren't they? Gecko, all colours. Oh, can we get a pet gecko? You sell lizards? She literally just said gecko. Buy gecko? Finest gecko. It climbs walls. Can reach hard to reach places. How much does one cost? Six is just giant judging us silently over there. Thirty three. Six, I'm gonna buy a gecko. I will not carry it, mistress. I'll carry the gecko. Respectfully, mistress, you did not come here for a gecko. <laughs> and I'm not having a gecko clambering around inside my lower drawers. Gecko? Tell me, do you know a man named Amadu? Gecko called Elenara, my mother's name. Gecko now or gecko later? Gecko later. New gecko come in a week. I'll buy a stripey one, please. <laughs> Let's see what you've brought. What? I prefer ancient and mysterious things. What happened to your... <laughs> Offer something small? Something else? I don't know. These all seem like something... I don't want to trade with you. Seem like useful things. As you wish. Maybe I'll come back later. I feel like trading away... Our ancient relic seems like a really b stupid idea. Do you think everyone here is like that? It would seem improbable. Surely they would have all starved. <laughs> oh god, six. This looks interesting. Sounds like robots. Who are you? You are Maddie? What do you want? I was told you could help me. You want a servo? Are you buying? You've got one already. I'm not here about robots. Then what do you want? I've come to ask you about an observatory. An ancient observatory, sorry. That's a strange thing to ask a servo dealer about. What makes you think I know where any observatory might be? A friend of mine told me to talk to you. So the little Ioxian with the big ears has sent a bigger Ioxian. But what is my discovery worth to this one? What's everyone's problems? I found an observatory, it's true. <clears throat> the observatory is just a ruin. Is that so? Are you sure? I'm a scholar. I read things. So you're here from sheer curiosity. No other reason. 
Why don't you tell me where it is? <laughs> Why don't I? I don't know. Perhaps I could throw a, sur in a, a servo into the bargain? What? What do you think? What, you're going to give us a servo? I'm only asking for the information. <laughs> information is an asset. Alright, fine. I'll buy your stupid servo. Alright then, what do you want? As a fine looking robot. You want the robot? I want to know what you have before I agree to anything. How old is the observatory? What state is it in? Let me tell you about the observatory. Okay, go for it. I've walked its corridors, seen ancient machines. It's built on three levels. Each is circular, each wider than the one above. So but it looks like it must topple from the sky, and yet it stands. It's like a spinning top. Itch. But perhaps that is enough for you. I'd happily trade for a robot, but it isn't mine to trade. I don't see anyone else around. <laughs> Mistress, please. I'm not yours to sell. I'm not going to trade you, Six. Trust me, Six. This is the best thing for you. Oh, that's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. <laughs> that's, that's not what I thought it meant. That does not seem likely. You can't have my robot. Really, Mistress. It speaks. Wonderful. A pity you do not really want to find the observatory. Are you going to cut away Six's head? I'll find it myself. You're... You're useless. Certainly not. My servers are in prime condition. That they don't have heads is their decision. Yours is a masterpiece. I don't like your terms. I don't like your smile. I could tell you about the corridors of glass. The machines like gigantic servos buried deep below the crust. Are you sure you won't trade? I won't trade. So be it. You don't want an artifact or anything? So the observatory is lost once more. What about, about dealing with you? Come on, Six. Very well. What does about dealing with you mean? But if you ever find a servo... Think of poor Madu, whose business drying up by the day. Mistress, what just happened? I don't trust that man. Further than I could spit. No point training a robot for a false lead. Interesting. Can we speak to you? Forgive me, but do you live on Renaka? I do. Oh, do you have any dealers of old artifacts here? That could be useful. Artifacts? There are no doubt some jewellers. you have to take your luck with a market. Good faith, lady. Alright. People aren't very chatty here, I see. Jars for water. Oh, or perhaps. <laughs> Half these stores don't have merchants. Are they worried about thieves? Perhaps these people are rich enough to be honest. Or perhaps the punishment for stealing is extreme. Then from behind me came the patter of steps. Hello, daughter. Wait, please. You want to come to Ajax after all? No. Oh, you spoke to my father. What of it? Oh, she's really tall. I'm leaving this moon now. Tell me about sailing. Does it? Hurt? No, of course not, it doesn't hurt. Unless it hurts your heart a little. You should try it with someone you trust. You're going now? Back to your ship? Back to Iox? Is it far? Iox isn't too far. It's disgusting. <laughs> What's. What is everyone's problem? <laughs> Why is everyone so mean? This is a busy district, heavy populated. Most of Renaka's population is urban, mistress. The open spaces are reserved for cultivation. Maybe we could ship some people from Elbreth to here. I'm sure they could carry a few more people. But how would you choose which ones came? 
Let's get out of here. This place sucks. Activate the hopper six. In broad daylight. Well, I think we'll wrap up this episode here. Um, after a not very fruitful mission of Ren Renaka. Um, we got some rumours about where the site is. I'm sure we can find it ourselves. We don't need this weird guy telling us anyway. So I'll head back to the ship. And... Unless we have a cutscene, we'll end off this episode here. And perhaps I'll try and find where the Emperor thing... Where the Emperor came up before. In between these episodes. So... Oh, we have a remark first. I wonder if she'll ever sail. Imagine spending your whole life stuck out here on the fringes. We're all stuck somewhere, mistress. The question is, can we see the wall? Well, that's deep. Another remark. That's profound, Six. What's gotten into you? Nothing, mistress. I merely dislike inaccurate speech. You know, that's fair. Okay, well, let's round off this episode here. So, if you have been watching, thank you very much. This has been Heaven's All, and I've been Dear Darling. I hope we can see each other again, but for now, it's our farewell. So, until next time, bye-bye for now.